A standpipe is 10 meters in diameter and 15 meters high. The standpipe already stores 4 meters of water. A pump is adding 325 liters per minute and 150 liters per minute is being taken out by the consumer. How many days will it take to fill the rest of the tank? The tank is 10 meters in diameter and 15 meters tall. The tank already contains 4 meters of water. The tank is filling at 325 liters per minute. Meanwhile, customers are taking 150 liters per minute. According to the formula sheet, detention time is equal to flow divided by, sorry, volume divided by flow. Note the units must be compatible. Detention time is equal to volume divided by flow. The volume of our tank is equal to pi times the radius squared times h, where radius is the diameter divided by 2. In our example, the diameter is 10 meters. 10 meters divided by 2 is the radius, or the radius is equal to 5 meters. The height of our volume of our tank is not the total height. Recall there's four meters of water already in the tank. Therefore, the working height of our tank is the difference. H is equal to 15 meters minus the four meters of water, or H is equal to 11 meters. Substituting these values for R and H into our equation, the volume is equal to pi, 3.14, times 5 meters squared, times 11 meters. Simplifying it further, volume is equal to 3.14 times 25 meters squared, times 11 meters. The volume of our tank is 863.5 meters cubed. The flow of our tank isn't simply the flow entering the tank. Recall, there's customers taking 150 liters per minute. So the flow that's contributing to filling the tank is the difference. Flow is 325 liters per minute minus 150 liters per minute. The flow is equal to 175 liters per minute. Now note, the units are not compatible. Our volume is in cubic meters, our flow is in liters per minute. We need to convert our flow into the base units of cubic meters per minute. Multiplying 175 liters per minute by the conversion factor, one cubic meter is the same as 1,000 liters, allows us to cancel the liter units out, leaving us with cubic meters per minute. 175 divided by 1,000 gives us a flow rate of 0 0.175 cubic meters per minute. Substituting these two values in, our volume and our flow into the detention time equation, 863.5 cubic meters divided by 0.175 cubic meters per minute will give us a detention time of 4,934 minutes. The question asks, how many days will it take to fill the tank? Converting, we know that there is 60 minutes in an hour, and there is 24 hours in a day. Multiplying 4,934 minutes by one hour is the same as 60 minutes, the minutes will cancel, Multiply again by one day is the same as 24 hours. The hours will cancel, leaving us with days. The detention time, 4,934 minutes, divided by 60, divided by 24, 
gives us a detention time of 3.4 days. So a standpipe that's 10 meters in diameter and 15 meters high, already containing 4 meters of water, filling at 325 liters per minute, while customers take 150 liters per minute, will take 3.4 days to fill the rest of the way.